Well, I'm delighted to say I'm back on Ramsey's Queen's Pier. It, it's, it's always fascinating to join you, Stuart, because, you know, we, we talk about things. We came here, I don't know, six months ago. You had all these plans, and it was very interesting then. But now, to come back and be invited here today to see, well, the labours that you and your team have done, you must be quite um, excited, I suppose, that this is happening now, isn't it? Yes, I think it's, it, it's not so much that it's exciting, it's the fact that we are actually progressing matters and uh, we are getting to a situation uh, where we can see exactly what's required to be done with the steel. Mm. Um, stripping off the uh, planks and then the stringers and then the beams um, has been uh, quite a difficult job because of course we were just learning exactly how the best way to deal with this was. But now that we've uh, exposed the uh, girders you can actually see what it is that we're having to do to replace the steel uh, well, sorry, um, yeah. to replace the iron, I oh, should right. say, with steel. And uh, you can then see that uh, uh, this is quite a, a big job. But uh, the work done by the scaffolders, Kinraids, who have built this uh, platform that you can see if you mm. look down onto it, um, is uh, extremely good and it enables us to work satisfactorily. Were things better or worse than you thought when you actually stripped down and saw what was going on? This, the iron is worse. And we are uh, rather disappointed that some of the beams, which uh, are the large 14-inch uh, wooden things which go across uh, mm. the thing, you can see two of them here, uh, they're special beams, they're the Greenheart ones, the other ones are pine, and we'd hope to be able to reuse a lot of them, but unfortunately there's quite a bit of rot, at least in this Bay 1, um, so that's a bit disappointing. They're going to have to be replaced, I think. Now, it's all done to money, again, how much you can do. Where are you up to your finances? Um, I think uh, we're closing in on the amount required for the Bay 1 steel. We've obviously paid for the scaffolding, the insurance and the tools and uh, the preparatory work. Um, but the main cost in Bay 1 is the steel. And uh, obviously you can't order the steel till you've got the money in the bank, uh, which would be completely wrong. And I think it's about seven or eight grand short at the moment. And if we can close in on that, then we can order the steel for uh, installation at, soon in the spring as it's um, uh, reasonable weather. So people can go to the website, that would be the best bet to find out how to, they can contribute? Yes, indeed. Um, there are many ways that you can contribute, uh, <laughs> including round... Uh, uh, Ramsey and parts of the island there are uh, actually buckets that you uh -huh. can put your money in and people are doing that and good for them. And you've got some thank yous I know to do, people have been helping out companies and putting in things for you. Very much so, I mean as I said Kinraid's built yeah. this uh, scaffolding, uh, Goff Electrical have put in the uh, electrics, uh, compressed air services have helped us with this three phase uh, compressor so we can use air tools and this is important because of course you know, electricity and water doesn't mix very well, does it? <laughs> when will we see it finished? Is that even a fair question to ask you? I think that's an unfair question yeah. because really it depends on uh, finance. Yeah. Uh, clearly from a practical point of view, we can see no difficulty in actually extending the work along the pier. Um, obviously the further out you go, uh, the harder it is to bring in uh, materials, yeah. uh, but there's no practical difficulty there, it's the question of the finance. And I guess also the knowledge base you'll learn on this first bay will help you then do it well, it's, it, it's more than that because the first bay is actually much wider oh, yeah. than, of course, the next eight. Um, and it's uh, also more difficult because the girders come in and go in underneath the pier. Uh, you know, mm. the, 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 the concrete that we're look, standing on at the moment and uh, you've got to dig them out of the uh, concrete so that's going to be more difficult. Okay. Now did you get your clock? Because last time we were, was here I'm sure we were talking about in front that you were desperate to want to find exactly the same clock that yes, was there. We're trying very hard. I think we have tracked possibly the original clock down but probably the best thing to do is to put a, uh, a similar size clock yeah. um, and replace that I think. Mm. And otherwise when should we come back next you think? How, how often do we think we should uh, see well, Changes, I, I think probably in the spring when yeah. we're actually doing the work. I mean, obviously, uh, the, we're looking to uh, one of the big crane companies to help us with the uh, swapping of the old material for the new material. Um, and that 
we hope to take over one weekend because obviously you can't tie up a big crane for, for oh. long. Uh, that's going to be quite a, a difficult logistic problem. And have you got enough volunteers helping? Well, we could always use more, um, and particularly during the week, um, for light work. Not for heavy work, but moving these beams around and so on, but for refurbishing the planks that we've taken off, or the stringers. We are going to reuse whatever we can, and so it's important that we have uh, people able to help us refurbish them. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to time when we'll be doing an interview on the pier. On we're, the pier we're so close, but not only yet. Indeed. <laughs>